What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Have you guys ever had to transfer anything between maybe an iOS device and an Android device? Maybe you're getting a new phone and you're going Android to Android. Maybe you are changing things up and simply going from an older iOS device to a newer iOS device, but you only want to transfer certain bits of information. Well, then you want transfer software. Sometimes iTunes just doesn't cut it. Sometimes an SD card and transferring between one Apple device and, of course, an SD card just does not work because Apple likes to protect all of its data. So, of course, with that said, what is the best option? Well, as you guys can see right here, we have one Wondershare's mobile trans software. Now, thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. We're actually going to go ahead and check this out. Now, this is the fully activated version, as you guys can see. You can actually do a phone to phone transfer right here. I currently have my iPad connected to here, and I'll have another phone connected when I show you guys how to use it. And then, of course, you can also restore from backups. Here are all the different backups that you, you can actually restore from. Get this, they actually have a backup for Blackberry. You can also do Samsung's keys. There's OneDrive, and of course, there is iCloud, iTunes, and mobile trans backups themselves. Now, where exactly or mobile trans backups well you can back up your phone directly inside of the application as well simply select what you wish to back up and then of course you should be perfectly set to go then of course you can also erase your old phone however I will say this you do need another piece of software in order to fully do that and that happens to be what I reviewed last week and it's known as iOS's full data eraser also found inside of dr. phones toolkit so that is pretty awesome so first of all today I'm actually gonna go and attempt to make a backup so I'm gonna actually go and choose which options I want. In this case, I had already somewhat gone and restored, so of course I don't have too too much on the device, but I am going to go transfer the two songs I have on here just to show you guys what the files sort of look like. There you go, I have This Is Where You Can Reach Me, which is a song. As you guys can see, it is relatively fast, and of course it transferred it to this folder right here. So there you go, it is an iPad.back. Now I will say this, when you do make a backup inside of this application, you will need this application to go and use that backup. So just keep that in mind when you go and make the backups. It's kind of like iTunes backups, you're going to need certain software to go and decipher an iTunes backup and get the information out of there. Now next off I'm actually going to do the main thing which is of course what the software is named after, Mobile Trans, and of course transfer certain information from one device to the next. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have an Android device connected on the left and that is going to be our source and then I have a brand new iPad connected on the right. So as you guys can see, both devices are now perfectly set to go, and I can actually transfer certain information from the Android to the iPad. Now, it does take a few seconds to process some of the information. For example, I have a lot of text, contacts, music, you know, so on and so forth, and there's only certain things that I'm actually going to go and transfer. Now, the iPad is 100% restored. It is a brand new iPad, basically, and I'm actually going to go and transfer some useful information onto here. So, let's go ahead and try to do this. Now, one side note is that applications will not transfer in between Android and iOS. So, you know, that kind of makes sense. But if you do have an iOS versus an iOS device, you should be perfectly set to go. Now, my iPad only has so much space on it, so transferring over 1,700 songs probably isn't the best idea. 3,000 pictures probably isn't the best idea either. Um, let's see what exactly should I transfer. Definitely contacts, definitely my calendar. Text messages, not so much. Um, I do wish there was an option to actually go and individually select certain songs, individually select certain photos and all of that. I think I will go and transfer some photos, so let's go and see if it allows me to do all that. So I'm going to hit start transfer and see what happens. Alright, copying data, please do not disconnect. Now something interesting to note is you can actually track as it transfers exact data. So as you guys can see, as each picture gets transferred, it does say success right next to it. So you guys are pretty much set to go in terms of tracking how long it will take. Now right now we're at 13% and I'll be right back as soon as it is at 100%. Now, unfortunately, I got impatient and, of course, stopped the transfer. However, I do have a nice solid 32 pictures on my device right here. I might actually go and transfer more later, but once again, the main reason is that I don't have too, too much space on the iPad. It's only a 16 gigabyte model, so I don't want to waste space with older pictures. But I did go and check out the contacts, and all my contacts are on here now. And, of course, my calendar has synced perfectly with this as well, and I am pretty happy about that. So with that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you are moving from iOS to Android but want a nice easy way of transferring all your def uh, data between the two then go ahead and check out Wondershare's mobile trans link below thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off